Lucy invested $10,000 in a new mutual fund account exactly three years ago. The value of the account increased by 10% during the first year, increased by 5% during the second year, and decreased by 10% during the third year. What is the value today? Well, before I talk about the actual solution, let me talk about a common mistake. People think that you can just add and subtract percentages. For example, the increase by 10 and the decrease by 10 would cancel, and so it would just be an increase of 5%. This is absolutely incorrect. When you have percentages in a sequence like this, you can never simply add and subtract them. There will always be an answer choice corresponding to this mistake, and in this case, that's the, the wrong answer choice, C. But that is not the way to do the problem. What is the way to do the problem? Well, we have to change each percent into a multiplier. So 10% as a decimal that is 0.1, and then we add 1 to get 1.1. That's, that's a 10% increase as a multiplier. And 10,000 times this multiplier, 1.1, is 11,000. That's how much she had after the first year. Now, an increase of 5%. 5% as a decimal is 0.05. Add 1. We get the multiplier 1.05, 11,000 times 1.05, and this is 11,550. That's how much she had in her account during the second year. Now, a decrease by 10%. Now, of course, 10% again as a decimal is 0.1, but this is negative. So 1 minus 0.1 is 0.9. That is the multiplier for a decrease by 10%. And so 11,550 times 0.9, and this, after a little bit of multiplication, this comes out to $10,395. This is the amount that she has in her account at the end of the third year. And this is answer choice B.